Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about traffic. This is going to be an extensive overview of pretty much all of the options that you have in terms of traffic, um, whether you're trying to sell econ products, trying to get commissions for affiliate products, trying to sell your own products, whatever it is, we're going to be going over the different types of traffic strategies that there are. So if you find this useful, please hit the subscribe button. And of course, jump down to the comment section and let me know the strategies that you've had and the ones that you found success with. So let's jump into it. As I say, we're going to be talking about um, the, the overview of uh, traffic solutions that are out there, some of the strategies that we use on a day to day basis, how we blend everything together. Now, as you can see from the screen, the things that I'm not going to be talking about, because a lot of people, when they talk about traffic, they talk about a lot of nonsense, a lot of things that aren't really relevant and a lot of things that aren't about that are specifically about, you know, driving eyeballs to uh, whatever web property or product you've got. OK, so I'm not going to be talking about the design. I'm not going to be talking about tweaking your site or your sales page add in things like sharing features, you know, designing pages that convert, that's a separate subject, okay? Um, I'm not gonna be talking about your content. I'm not gonna be talking about product selection, okay? I'm not gonna be talking about creating viral content, okay? Because yeah, everyone wants to go viral. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about mailing from your list, you know, because, you know, yes, for most people, building that list so you can mark it to a later date is great. But at the start, if you're starting out, you want traffic strategies that are going to work from day one. Mailing from your list is not one of them, okay? And also, I'm not going to be talking about expanding your types of content. A lot of people will say, you know, you know, go everywhere, you know, start a podcast, these sorts of things that, you know, for the man on the street that's trying to drive traffic to his product, his service, you know, his offer, today, that's no good, okay? So we're gonna be talking about things, you know, that, that, that work, okay? So, essentially, you've got, you've got free traffic strategies, you've got paid traffic strategies, that's obvious, okay? Now, in terms of free traffic strategies, you know, you know you're not exchanging cash for those eyeballs, but it does take longer, can take significantly longer. It's more hands-on approach. You know, you're spending your actual time, and in some cases, you're going to be spending you know extensive time uh, to put these systems in place. Okay, um, of course, it's less targeted um, because you're you know you're not the, the people are not targeted at, at start in start and stop. Okay, um, but if you get it right, it can go viral. We spoke about, about creating viral content. If you get things right, it can go viral, okay? Um, and of course, free traffic strategies are generally putting things out into the, the, the World Wide Web for people to find. So it remains relevant for longer. Now, when we talk about paid traffic strategies, this is very, very targeted because when you're taking something and you're you're put your advertise effectively advertising. You're selecting who you want it to go to. So you're you're using a variety of different services to target it down to you know you know male or female. You know different age categories, people in different countries, for example, or and more specifically their interests, things that they like. You know services that they already use, videos that they've already watched, websites where they've already been. Okay. Um, but then you also get instant results. You know, it's not like um, the free strategies that remain relevant for longer. You know, you're identifying people and you're sending the advertisement to them. They're looking at it and they're deciding yes or no whether to click on it or go forward or whatever. OK, so you're going to see instant results. OK, and again, it's, as I kind of said, it's, uh, it's typically a one time event. You know, it, it happens at one time and then the campaign is over effectively. Um, one of the problems is we have what's called ad blindness. So when we are looking on social media, on, on 
you know, uh, Google, all these different places. We've got used to where the adverts prop up. We've got used to what they look like. And we kind of, you know, mentally skip them. So there is that kind of problem. And that is one of the reasons why advertisement, you know, conversion rates are all are never going to be massive because so many people are just going to ignore them. Okay. Um, but one of the good things is, is, as I said, just at the top of the video, was when we can bring everything together, the free and the paid strategies, everything together, you know, you can use paid strategies to jumpstart free ones. And that is when it works fantastically. So in my opinion, there are four types of traffic. You've got the social media type. So anything to do with social media. Um, you've got ranking, you know, whether that's websites, videos, etc. You've got any traffic via email. Okay, and then you've got advertising, which can be yeah, pretty much anything. Okay, so that is the open gambit of this video. We're now going to jump across and we're going to talk through a whole range of websites um, that, that, are, that we've used on a, you know, a daily basis and ones that we've combined with, with others to build these strategies. And um, by putting all of these together is where you're going to get the best results. Okay. Because, you know, the, the, the person that, you know, puts all of his eggs in one basket is foolish. You know, uh, you know, for example, if you just did 100% Facebook advertising and then Zuckerberg and co decide to change something, you could be, you know, out on a limb. You know, you could be very, uh, you, you know, if they took away your banjo page, for example, uh, for, for any type of reason and you had all your followers and all your ads were running through that, what do you do? You know, your audience is effectively done. So let's start going through these strategies and we'll start going through, uh, you know, we'll be kind of blending through these four types, these social media, these ranking, these emails and these adverts. And we'll be, uh, I'll be presenting to you services, you know, vast majority of these free, you know, um, that you can use that will help you do all kinds of things that will help you uh, to get the eyeballs on your services, your products, your offers, whatever it is, whatever you know this is not niche specific this is this works for basically everything so the first one is instagram okay so we're gonna when we talk about free we talk about social media we talk about instagram it is one of the most fantastic ways of driving traffic you can create an account a business account and then you can just start creating um, shareable, likable images that people are just going to, it's going to pop up on their feed because we know that everyone is addicted to these social media outlets and they just scroll through them on their phone, tap in like, and there might be something that they like that that is going to get them to follow. Okay. Okay. And then there are all types of different strategies with Instagram. One of the most popular one is to um, find a competitor of yours so or a potential cut competitor or someone in the same space and every day follow some of their followers okay and that's so that's their followers okay so essentially you're going out and you're tapping on the shoulder of people that already like someone like you okay and then they're going to get a notification that says you know lee has followed you and you're going to go oh, who's that and they're going to click on it and they go all oh, right what's that and they're going to see that it's something they already like why not follow that person why not check it out and the fact is like everything with social media, you need to set your sites on point, okay? Your profiles, your images, your your description, you know, the about me bit, you've got to put your link so that that drives the traffic. And obviously with these um, social media pages, it's all about regular content. So you're regularly bringing new people in and the people that do come in see that there's regular content, they want to stay along for the ride, okay? And when they're seeing things, you know, when you're putting new posts, You've also got to say, you know, blah, 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 check the link in my bio uh, for more details. So you're going to drive, you're driving people around that way. And you're also, by doing this, you're building up uh, the social media uh, profiles with more and more followers. And the more and more followers you have, uh, the more opportunities you have. And when you, with Instagram specifically, when you get to 10,000 followers, you can do, when you do the stories, you can add a link in that in the uh, the story so they can they can watch something and click on it specifically without having to go to the bio so that's incredibly important when you're thinking about building up these pages okay 
Likewise, uh, Pinterest, again, is like the, the little sister of Instagram, different types of images, but essentially, you know, you can share things and you can insert links and descriptions in a very similar way, okay? Uh, very graphical, but you're driving people uh, across to your website. Then we move across to Facebook. Now there's hundreds and hundreds of different strategies with Facebook. It's a little bit more difficult uh, and there are, you know, so many, Facebook more than anything is evolving on a day to day basis, okay? So it's very important to keep up to date with what's happening with Facebook. Uh, but of course, you know, they have groups so you can join groups and, you know, some of the best ways are to join groups and just start providing con content and value um, and start, you know, posting videos, you know, screen videos like this. Um, and then in the uh, in the comment, not the comments, you know, the comments or the, the text section of the post, you can put links to videos, but it has to be all congruent with the video. It has to be beneficial. Uh, to what you're you're providing. One of the other things, one of the, like a little strategy you can do is you can create a new page for Facebook, then start joining. Obviously, as I say, set up the profile so it all looks great, images and cover images, and start putting content. Then you can start joining uh, groups that are relevant to you, and then start you know friending these people that are in these groups. And over time, you're going to build up you know followers, uh, friends. And then when you start posting onto this profile, you know, because they're in those groups, you know that they're relevant people to the subject matter. So when you post on your actual, your post profile, you know, they're gonna see it as they're friends of yours and then you're gonna be able to drive people that way, okay? Now, obviously there's so many other social media profiles, I can't go through all of them, but there's different things that, that work with different, different uh, social media platforms, okay? One of the things you might want to think about is a social media uh, manager such as Buffer, where you can sign into it, you can connect your social media uh, platforms up, and then you can line up posts to automatically be, be sent to these, um, uh, whatever it, whether it's Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, for example, and you can set up um, extensions on your, your browser, so when you find different content, you can just share it to all of them, you know, pretty instantaneous because when you're building these um, these pages, like Facebook pages and stuff, you don't just want to be putting uh, your own content. You want to be sharing other people's content, okay? And that builds trust with other people that are, you know, following you, okay? So using something like that can help you, you know, manage what you're posting and also find other stuff. Likewise, uh, we've got IFTT, IFTTT. And this is cool because kind of like with the uh, buffer, you can set up different things to you to occur. So just say you've got this, you can set up the, once you've connected your accounts, you can set up um, what they call, well, they used to call them recipes. I think they're called um, applets. They're called applets now, yeah. And what you can do is you can see here, tweet your Instagrams as native photos on Instagram, so that when you, uh, you've, once you've got it all connected, you send an Instagram out, it will automatically post that onto your Twitter as well, okay? But you can, there are so many different things here, I, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of different things that you can set up, because it's if this, then that. So if you do something, it automatically knows you've done it, and it does something elsewhere. So you can automatically be, you know, posted onto a variety of different networks, um, at the same time, or if you post a video onto a new video onto YouTube, you can send out notifications to your social media saying, Hey, I just posted a new video to YouTube, for example. So there's lots of different things and that helps you to drive the traffic, uh, explicitly. So another twist on the whole social, uh, media is something like Cura, which is basically the question answer site. Now you can go onto these sites and start, and you know, people are asking questions all the time, all different uh, industries. So find the industry that's relevant to yours, go in there, start answering questions. And of course you can put in some nice content and say, then you can end it by saying, for more information, check out this link, okay? So again, you're driving the traffic. So, now we move on to ranking. We spoke about ranking of websites. We spoke about ranking of videos. So there's loads of things you can do for ranking um, uh, 
websites, but the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you got your SEO on point. Now, I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not gonna be talking about tweaking your site and whatever. I was really talking about the visual aspect of it, you know, things you can put on it. You know, this is the underlying, you know, root of your website should be uh, on point so that when your content goes out to the world, Google recognizes it and wants to share it, wants to rank it. So using, just say, if you're on WordPress, you can install a plugin and it will help you specifically put in all the keywords and all the different bits and pieces for those pages from the get-go. Um, your your pay, your website is going to be more likely to rank with regardless of what the content is. Okay, so that is very very important to do from the start. Next thing in terms of ranking is you know uh, using the right keywords. So doing your research. Okay, doing your research from the start. Okay, and when you create content for your site, creating you know you know or targeting keywords that you want your videos or your websites to be in front is to use keyword research tools like Keywords Everywhere, which this puts a whole load of data over the top of other websites. Likewise, you've got things like Uber, Uber Suggest, where you can put in, you know, a, a subject matter, just say like yoga exercises, and it will tell you the search volume, it will tell you how difficult it is SEO, how difficult it is to be successful with paid advertising, um, and you can see some other different types of keywords that you might want to target instead or, or you know, further add to what you're, you're using as a keyword, okay? Now, moving on to the video side of ranking, you want to install a, an extension called vidIQ. Now, this is super cool because it adds, when you go to YouTube, it adds a whole range of, you know, uh, information that you don't get with YouTube. So let's just jump across and look at YouTube. And you can see on the right hand side, you've got the, and this is again, this is a free tool. It has all this information here on the right hand side. It talks about, you know, how many Facebook likes this has got on shared and how many, uh, the percentage of likes to dislike. Um, it gives it an actual ranking and it talks about, you know, what it, information it believes it works. It also talks about the tags here, which is really cool. And it tells you what it's ranking for. So you can see this video here, how to get more traffic, it is ranking number one, it's ranking number four for increased web traffic, and it's uh, number two for blog traffic, okay? And you can see what they've done, you can see they've shared it on Twitter, they've shared it on Facebook, they've hearted a comment, you know, they've got a description, uh, but they're saying there's not enough tags, you know, so there's a lot of information there. And what you can do with this is that you can go to videos and the, you can, once you've uh, researched the keyword that you wanna go for, type it in YouTube, Look at those videos and see what they've done on their videos. Okay, see you know what they put in the description. See what VidIQ is saying, and then you can create another video and try and improve upon the outside factors. These things here, and then you will be able to outrank that video. Okay, so that is a really important thing. Okay, so let's move on to the paid traffic. Okay, so there's a few paid traffic strategies. Uh, that generally work. Okay, so the first one is via email. Okay, so as I spoke at the beginning about you know using your own list at the start, you don't have you don't have a list. You want to be building lists. So you want to be doing loads of strategies that we said I wasn't going to talk about um, to build build a list and then market them later in the day. But at the start, you want to be um, utilizing other people's uh, lists. Okay, so it might be the case that you just go out and find people that you know are in your industry or you know are selling products that you want or or have some sort of audience um, in your space, go to them and ask them whether you can rent out an email uh, from, their, from their email list, okay? And then they'll give you price and you'll better send it out. Alternatively, you'll find um, networks that that allow you to buy emails from people that have big lists, okay? One of them such like is called Udemy that sells um, marketing in uh, emails and you can go in there, you can find people, you can connect with people, talk about their lists, see what sort of products sell um, and then basically effectively put an order and uh, send an email via their list and you'll get traffic that way and of course that is, you know, it's paid, it's going to work. 
Right, so next thing I'll talk about is effectively the Facebook pixel. Now, there's not much to talk about because it's effectively, you know, Facebook ads, we know it works. Um, and there's, there's a whole, you could talk for hours and hours about Facebook, okay? But the important thing with regards to uh, Facebook advertising is that when you have web property, make sure that you create your pixel, put it on your web page so that um, Facebook can be tracking the audience that you're creating. So that in later down the line, you can come back and you can say, right, I had all these people that looked at my site. They might not have done interacted with it, but they were interested. Let's send them an advert and see what we can do on that basis. So in terms of this, I've just said, uh, I've got here is the Facebook Pixel Helper. This is a Chrome extension. When you've created your Pixel and you've put it on your website, make sure that you install this Facebook Pixel Helper so you can go across um, to your sites afterwards and make sure the pixel is installed properly because you don't want to create a site put a pixel and then start driving traffic on all variety of ways and then realize that the pixel isn't actually working because that would be devastating okay so make sure you've got it on point so the last thing i'm going to really be talking about here in terms of traffic um, is instagram uh, is, is um, influencer advertising oh i tell you what let's just pause rewind when we're talking about the pixel okay one last thing i wanted to talk about with the pixel is that there are it's not just the facebook pixel you can create audiences for youtube for example so if you go into the your ads account for for uh, google you're going to be able to select videos that you create and upload onto youtube and it will start doing a similar sort of pack, uh, pixel tracking um, on the people that watch your video so that later in the line you can advertise to those people likewise you can create pixels for google ad, google traffic and all different types of things so there are other websites that offer ad services also do pixels it's not just facebook okay so you want to create those pixels and make sure they're all on your web property so when you're driving people to your sales pages your offer pages your blogs your websites you know you're you're pixelating them in all these different places so that you can retarget them later down the line right so let's jump across to influencer marketing which is the last one influencer marketing is another form of paid advertising where you go out and you find people okay that have fantastic social media platforms, okay? And you basically ask them if they would like to promote something on your behalf, okay? So it's essentially putting out an image and in the description saying, check out this website, for example. So one of the best ones is Instagram because it's so shareable. You know, these sorts of people, they like to, you know, make, a, make some money by promoting other people's stuff. So essentially what you need to do is you need to go on Instagram and you start, need to start searching for people in your industry um, and then just start communicating with them. You know, nothing to lose. Just contact them and say, um, are you prepared to promote products? If so, um, how much would you charge? Um, you know, it, you know, talk about, you know, if it's a physical product, send in the product. Will they take photographs? Uh, will they create Instagram stories? Will they give you the link in the bio? Uh, you know, how long will they leave it on their page? All these sorts of things, you know, to make sure they're, you know, you're going to get value for money. Okay. What I would say is that you know, find someone that you're interested in, and then you know, do a search of their um, their user tag, and go to websites such as Social Blade and just search for them and come and look at what the the information says here so we'll just click on the instagram one here and you can see whether you know they're you know posting crazy amounts one day or you can see this person is posting most days one post a day and you can see that they're getting you know hundreds of new followers every single day so you know they're not they're someone who's active they're not a bot they're not something stupid they're a, a legit person that's creating a great following on instagram and there'll be an ideal person uh, to work with you um, with the promotion okay so essentially that's it this has been like a massive video talking about traffic um, all the different strategies you know in as i say these are things that when you link them all together you know the free and the paid they can all link and blend and help each other 
you know, uh, to, to, to really work in and to build in things, you know, because you can use the paid to, s- to start building up your social uh, platforms and the social platforms can link to each other and you can send things to all things at the same time. You know, and you can, you, it's, it's really important um, to, to use all of them, not just rely on one. That's the mistake people make. So I hope this has beneficial, been beneficial to you. If it has, give us the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel as always for new content as and when I feel it is appropriate for you guys. Um, and remember, jump, in, jump down the bottom with any comments. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to take a swig of water. (laughs) This has been a long video. Thanks very much. I'll see you later.